Hi guys. Okay, so I wanted to talk more about the ISTJ. But first, all the 16 Myers-Briggs personality types are divided into two subcategories. You can either be assertive or you can be turbulent. Well, maybe you go back and forth between the two, but you'll be, you'll gravitate towards one more than the other. Um, so anyway, my husband, I'm gonna use my husband as an example. He happens to be an assertive ISTJ. What does that mean? Well, so ISTJs in general are already pretty well known for being stubborn, for not being open to listening to other people's ideas or other people's opinions. They, they making them feel invalidated for their, doesn't matter how long you've thought about these ideas or these concepts, they really don't appreciate it as much as you would like for them to do that. Let me explain something just to bring further understanding. ISTJs, the reason why they have so much confidence in their knowledge and what they believe is the right way and the wrong way is because up until this point, they've been pretty successful at following their own, their own information, their own stored data. The reason why it's worked so well for them is because they are made for this world. They are the perfect citizen. They are really good at, they, they have so much information and this helps them make educated decisions. And the amount of time that they are able to retain that information is also very impressive. But so it helps them to know a lot and to hold that information for a very long time. And they're really good at following the rules, following the, the system that's in place, they are good at me and they have no problem maintaining the status quo. They have no problem respecting authority. They will not rebel. They might not like certain rules, but they're, gonna, they're going to follow the rules. And you're probably thinking, okay, well, I know other people that follow the rules and are still struggling. Well, here's the thing. ISTJs are very strategic very methodical, kind of like perfect chess players. But when it comes to life, they will put their feelings aside to make the logical decision to achieve whatever it is they want to achieve. Even if they don't like it, that, that doesn't matter that their feelings are not going to get in the way because what they, with their goal, they become so laser focused. And whenever they decide that they're going to do something that they're going to achieve something, they get it done. So, and that's something that is very, um, that you will find in an ISTJ personality type. They get it done. They're very dependable. And so that's why most of them, it's hard for them to listen to anybody else and what they have to say, because they've been listening to their own thoughts, their own information. And so far they've been very successful. All of them are going to be pretty, they're going to be in a good spot in life because they're made for this life. They're the perfect citizen. They were made for this and they don't struggle too much. They really, really don't. And so, so that's that. Now, uh, when you come and present them an idea, like let's say something that's not very traditional or just a very abstract idea or something, let's just say aliens. Okay, let's say you start wanting to talk to them about aliens. They're not really going to entertain that as much because ultimately what, they're, what they value most is efficiency. So let's say they entertain that idea just because they're being nice. Well, what does the existence of aliens do anything for them and their efficiency? How is that going to make their life any better? So they don't see the point in, in, in reading or discussing the topics that INFJs like to talk about because it doesn't do anything to make their life any better at all, at all. So that doesn't mean they don't like to talk about it. They find it cool. They find it interesting, but that's where it ends. It's like, it's like, it's like reading a horoscope. It's like, eh, okay, cool. Moving on, which is a good point. I understand that. Um, INFJs are very people oriented and we want to understand the human mind. And I understand the reason why we want, we want to understand the human mind, but for them, they don't see the need. They don't see the need. And I will get to that 
maybe probably at a, at a later time. But for now, that's that. Now, a turbulent ISTJ will be associated with more negative emotion. They won't be as confident. They, they are gonna second guess themselves a little bit more, which is gonna be, um, it's gonna make it harder for them to make decisions as quickly as an assertive ISTJ can make them. Both of them, both of them are ambitious. Both of them will typically succeed, but you will find that an assertive ISTJ will find it way easier to succeed and achieve their goals because they are so confident. Um, and uh, also, they actually, I, I read something that makes complete sense. An assertive ISTJ will have this positive hum in their background. And that's another reason why it, it, they, this helps them, that positive hum in their background is also a reason why they don't see the need to change because they're satisfied with where they are so far in life. And they're also very satisfied with the way they look and they're very satisfied with everything about them overall. They don't see the need to change. And an, a turbulent ISTJ won't feel like that so much. They will see a need to change because they second guess themselves and, and they won't be as confident. But this also, it's also a blessing in disguise because um, that kind of will reduce some of the extreme personality traits that we will notice in an assertive ISTJ type. So yes, so that's that. Um, I also just wanted to share that the Myers-Briggs personality assessment is fun. It is, I'm not discrediting the report and what it says because it, it it's, it's very crazy how accurate it is. And that's why it's very popular because people notice that it is very accurate. However, to make a very big life decision based on what the report says would not be very good. I just wanted to say one last thing. I know everybody has their own list of priorities and what they, what they look for in a partner. But one of the things that I value the most and a partner is being able to know that I can trust them, that they're dependable and loyal. Because the last thing I need is to not be able to trust the person that's gonna be sleeping next to me for the rest of my life. So other than not being able to talk to them about the things that I like to talk about and not being able to bounce off ideas with them about interesting things, things that are uh, way more interesting than football, for example, um, I, I think it is priceless, the fact that this person is as loyal as they've shown to be and that I can depend on them to, to do what, what, what they need to do. So, so yeah, but anyway, I hope that helps.